Former CIA counterterrorism officer Philip Giraldi is on a mission. He says he wants to expose how costly and dangerous Israeli espionage is to the United States. Israel steals technology, steals secrets from the United States. Giraldi is the executive director of the Council for the National Interest Foundation, which just released a 12-page overview written by Giraldi called The Spy Who Loves Us. He says Israel conducts more espionage against America than any other U.S. ally. It should almost be seen like an act of war. Giraldi says Israel profits from selling U.S. technology. It gets really serious when Israel uses these technologies and sells them to countries that are not friendly to the United States. Uh, for I would cite the example of um, uh, a Chinese jet, the J-10, which was, was built with a lot of technology that came originally from the United States. Giraldi says Israeli spying has bankrupted some American companies. I'll get phone calls from people actually who worked for companies that went out of business because Israel, Israel had stolen their technology and done that sort of thing, and the company goes bankrupt. According to his report, virtually all U.S. government bodies, including the FBI and General Accountability Office, have confirmed that Israeli espionage takes place. And while collecting intelligence is part of the function of government, Israel crosses the line. Giraldi says the intensity and persistency of Israel's spying is particularly disturbing, considering how dependent Israel is on America's political and military support. Well, it will only change when the politics change. And the politics have to change in a way that the United States, for one reason or another, begins to see Israel just like we see every other country, uh, Italy, Germany, France, and, and treat them the same way. But as long as Israel has a special relationship, which is backed up by Congress and backed up by the media, uh, it won't change. Giraldi says Israeli lobbies have too much power in Washington. Giraldi has written about Israeli espionage for the American conservative. He also has a regular column in the magazine called Deep Background. Rhonda Pence, Press TV, Washington.